Hello out there to you. I've got a uh, cost schedule. I need to solve this thing in microeconomics. And I'm going to do that in Excel. So I'll show you how to do that in Excel. So we're going to use Q for quantity. I guess I can just write out quantity. So I've got this as like a, an image. And I want to put it into Excel so that I can do the data. I've got total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost. Uh, average fixed cost, average variable cost, average total cost, and then marginal cost. Okay, so quantity, here's a trick with Excel. Once you tell Excel the pattern, you can highlight this. Double click on, I guess you can't, I mean, drag that all the way down there, uh, and it filled it in for me. Okay, so what do we know about fixed costs? We know that fixed costs don't change, so we're given that it's 60. Uh, and it's 60, and I can go into Excel and I can click on that guy right there. It turns everything into dollar signs for me because that's where I'm at. Well, fixed costs don't change, uh, so I can actually just click on, double click on that little cross, it drags everything down. Um, total variable cost, I'm given some of these, so I'll fill in what I know. and 60 okay so there's some relevant formulas here so total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost um, I also know that variable cost equals total cost minus the fixed cost um, and then I know that fixed cost equals total cost minus variable cost so in this case, um, it's whatever this is. So it's this minus this. Okay, that gives me 45, and I can check my work. If I um, highlight both of those cells, it'll tell me that the sum down here is 105. And since that is 105. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to write a formula. You hit equals. It's this plus this. Hit enter. And I'll just copy that all the way down. And I'm also going to hit Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to copy that down right there. Copy that right there. Okay. Uh, for this guy, it's going to be again total cost minus total fixed cost. I got 185. I will copy that here, and I'll copy that there. Okay. Now I filled in uh, this part of the chart. Um, I don't have a average or marginal level for the first one because uh, it'd be dividing by zero because the quantity is zero. So uh, here's how to do this. So we're just going to the average fixed cost. Actually, let me put the formulas here. This is fixed cost divided by quantity. Very actually total variable cost divided by quantity. Fixed cost and then total cost divided by quantity. This last one is the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. Okay, um, okay so I'm going to hit equals. I'm going to try a formula here. So I want the fixed cost, which is 60. They don't change. Hit the slash, that's divide. Divide by that. And then copy that all the way down. And that gives me my average fixed cost. Here, uh, I'm going to do the same thing, but with variable cost. Okay. Now, I can do the same thing here. Uh, I can take my total cost and divide it by the quantity. Or, since this relationship holds true, total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost, well, then if I'm averaging everything, then total cost the, the average total cost has to equal average variable cost plus average fixed cost. So just to prove that to you, um, so if you were to do this on a test or something, uh, this plus this should give me the exact same numbers that I get there. 
Okay, and looks like they do. So that worked out. So you can also just add average variable cost and average total cost. All right, last one. Um, our marginal cost column. Okay, so we're going to come over here and um, uh, we're going to, we want the difference in total cost. Now, Excel needs to do things first. So we need the new value minus the old value. And then we're going to divide it by the change in quantity. Okay, so I'll also put those in parentheses too. Okay, in this case, it's always going to be one because the quantity changing is just by one. Um, so now, once I've written that formula, I can just copy it all the way down, and now I've got I've got my uh, marginal cost. So I've filled in the whole table there, and I'm good. Um, what's kind of cool about this is that I could let's say this was. 15, 30, I don't know, 50, 75, 100, 150, 300, 600, 1500, and 4000. Uh, you can see it's updating everything over here. So once you've got sort of the, the structure of everything, um, and you could rewrite this as formulas, so it's just like that. Just copy that all the way down. Okay. Uh, it doesn't like it because of the way that I constructed this thing, but um, that's uh, that's what you can do. Um, so you, you could mess you could mess around with that. But once you've got once you've got the structure of this thing, the skeleton, uh, everything over here will update for you. So that's pretty cool. So there you go.